Since installing the Android 11 update, how many times have you reached to expand the hidden left menu by swiping like we've become accustomed to for so many years? However, noticed that you're actually activating the new gesture for going back. Now some apps like Solid Explorer take this into consideration and will actually not close the application whenever that happens. But there are other applications which still have that swipe out menu, but if you accidentally swipe out to try to expand it, many times, at least I have, noticed myself activating that back gesture instead of opening up that menu. So in today's tutorial, I want to show you how we can disable that back gesture on one side of the screen. In this example, it's annoying having it enabled on the left side because so many apps have that hidden navigation menu. But this can actually be done to disable it from being activated on the right side as well. This little mod does not require root access. However, it does require us to have ADB and Fastboot tools installed on our PC because we have to connect our PC to the smartphone with a USB cable and execute a command either in the terminal, a Windows PowerShell, or a command prompt. Not no. only that, but you're also going to need to have developer mode enabled so that we can go in and enable the USB debugging toggle. We need to enable this to execute ADB and fastboot commands. And as of right now, I'm reading this is only going to work on Android 11 and higher. So if you're using gesture navigation on Android 10 and lower, this mod is likely not going to work. So if you have not installed ADB or Fastboot tools yet, be sure to look in the video description as I have a tutorial specifically how to install minimal ADB and Fastboot tools, which is going to give you a desktop shortcut that you can click and open up that will open up a command prompt in the same folder as your ADB and Fastboot tools because you need to be executing this command from the same folder that your adb.exe file is in. And if you want, after we have enabled USB debugging and after we have plugged the phone into the PC with a USB cable, you can write out the command adb space devices and press enter. Now if you have not granted this access yet, then you're likely going to get that unauthorized message. And when that happens, you should get a prompt on your phone asking you to authorize that access. The goal is to make sure whenever we execute ADB devices that we actually have a device that shows up and that device that shows up that does not say unauthorized. So once we are at this point, we can drop into an ADB shell by typing out ADB space shell and then press enter. Now, as long as everything has been set up, that should drop us into a different looking prompt for us to type in text. And from here, this is where we type out the command. So what we're typing out is settings space put space secure space back underscore gesture underscore inset underscore scale underscore left space zero. 
Now I'm going to be including all of this text and both of these commands in the video description. So if you just want to copy and paste from there, it's going to be a lot easier to do that. And now if you were wanting to disable the right swipe gesture, we would simply change that to right instead of left at the very end. You can see we are setting this option to zero, which disables it. If you have already disabled this in the past, we can re-enable it by changing that zero to a one. But here's the command to disable the left swipe gesture for back. So when you're ready, we're just going to press enter on the keyboard. And assuming we have done everything correct, it should just drop down to another blank prompt message without an error, without a success message. It should just go back down to a blank prompt. So with that done, we can then unplug that USB cable. And you can see we can open up an application. We're still able to go back by swiping on the right side of the screen because I entered the command with the word left. So you can see the back gesture on the right side of the screen is still active. However, when we try that from the left side, the gesture is completely gone now. So if you have an application that still has one of these hidden left navigation menus, and I know a lot of them are switching, at least Google is switching from that to a profile picture circle icon in the top right, so what I'm reading is this is working on devices running Android 11 and higher using the actual stock gesture navigations. You can see I changed phones in this video specifically. I started off with a Xiaomi device, the Poco F2 Pro. It's running Android 11 and it does have na uh, gesture navigations but it's using Xiaomi's implementation of gesture navigations, which they've been using for at least since Android 10. So I, I expect this mod to work on Samsung's more modern devices, likely the S10 and up, as well as other devices using the stock implementation of gesture navigation. So Google's Pixel phones, are going to be using that implementation. Nokia devices too. A lot of these phones nowadays are running a more stock version of Android. I don't have a complete list of which devices this command will work on, but let me know in the comments section below. Let me know which phone you're using. Let me know which version of Android it's running and whether or not this command worked for you.